can you speak to these different responsibilities um, for the masculine and feminine when it comes to inviting more consciousness and depth to the relationship? And and how are those two responsibilities different? Yeah, yeah. Well, that, it's it's really confusing, right? Because you know, women also, you know have the same issues. Like, why am I not feeling him more? Why is he not sharing his heart with me? Why, why does he want, you know, you know, TV and freedom more than the relationship. Right. And, and, and some of it has to do with just our, our, our natural proclivities as masculine identified humans versus feminine identified humans. So the feminine responsibility in relationship is, is how in this flow of love are we? Right. So her responsibility is to is to be a constant weather vane of how how deep am I feeling him? How open is his heart? How much is he in his body? Um, Is he just looping? Is he is he in acquisition mode to the point where he can't feel anybody? Is he keeping his word? Is he you know, is he is even here? Right. Mm -hmm. And the feminine heart, you know, is this beautiful sort of weather vane that can measure those things immediately if she's open and if she's paying attention to, if she's not on her phone, you know, like her body has to be open too. And so the reason why I call it a responsibility is because the feminine has to basically prepare their bodies to be the Oracle transmitters for consciousness. Is he conscious? Isn't he conscious? And when he's not conscious, you know, the alarm goes off. Um, the masculine responsibility in relationship among others, I'm just super generalizing here, but among others is to bring depth and to bring um, uh, presence and to sort of ground the relationship in a direction and a directionality because the feminine is not directional. The feminine is (laughs) (laughs) multi-directional. Now you have a masculine and your masculine is very directional. You can think to what the next podcast should be, right? But, but, but the feminine is not directional. The Mm -hmm. masculine is the masculine gift in relationship is depth and direction and presence. And let's call it the, 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 the ability to move through space and time as conscious humans. Right. Mm -hmm. And, 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 and so the masculine gift is that also I would argue, and I think I say this in the book is that the masculine gift to the feminine is to take her deeper into her heart than she could go on her own. Mm. Mm, right? Yeah. yeah. And, and like, and, 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 you know, we need each other for that. Right. Mm-hmm. And, and so the masculine, the masculine Gift can be measured in directionality and depth, just to make it super simple, overly simple, deeper into our hearts, right? And the feminine responsibility in relationship can be to, you know, really be responsive to the, to the energetic love temperature of the relationship. Mm-hmm. And again, super simplifying this. I mean, you know, we yeah. can take a whole workshop yeah. on this stuff. Go, I probably go, should. Go read the book that gives us a base. Yeah. 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 Um, I want to get into this a little bit further. Like, let's just take the perspective of, and you mentioned this a little bit in the in the book. Women are are at this point where it's like they're complete hashtag boss babes. They're CEOs. Their yeah. their direction is dialed in. Their their income. Mothers who have the house structured perfectly. And where it, where are men or masculine in in kind of this 2022 dynamic of the modern woman, uh, tastefully able to step into the relationship and provide direction to a very carved out masculine that sits in their in their significant other or their wife or their girlfriend? Yeah. How do they step into that? You know, quite literally in a relationship, even have the conversation of. Hey, I'm feeling the need to step into my own masculinity with mm-hmm. depth and direction. Here's how this needs to look for me. What are you What are you seeing there? Yeah, no that that's that's such a big challenge I'm seeing, right? And and it hurts the women in the relationships too because they're like, I don't want to hold all of this all the time. I want to be able. It's painful to hold the house and the business and the children and the you know. So the simple answer to that is, you have to embody it. For her to trust your directionality, you have to be like we've been talking about, you know, I'm probably going to bore everybody with the come back to the, the, the depth of your own breath, 
the feeling of your own heart? Are you in the center? Are you aware of the center of your body? Are you locked into the present moment? And the more depth, the more that's a much purer form of masculine than the doing masculine that she might be really good at. Sure. And eventually she will want to respond to that just because it's so much deeper than the, her capacity to organize. Yeah. So I think one of the ways that men can be, become more trustable to use a term that David uses to become more trustable in this is, um, is to really master their own body mind, right. To master their own body mind and, and their own directionality. Like, where am I in my purpose? You know, how deeply am I, you know, living in this moment? Um, how am, am I leading other men? Do other men trust me? Right? Am I am I contributing to the world in a way that feels deep and important, mm. or am I numbing out? You know, yeah. am I am I numbing out? And the more that we can become, like literally matches for a lot of women. You know, I mean, a lot of women, like you said, are are killing it. Yeah. <laughs> and and to match that so that we can be trustable for something deeper is is an area that I think a lot of men do struggle with, and and part of the reason is they lack. Um, the commitment to presence that I think is needed. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, this, this, this all works really, you know, in, in a synchronized way when you, when you start piecing these all together and so much of this is coming back to presence, mm-hmm. um, you know, from that was the perspective of the, of the masculine or the, or the male who is like really interested in, in getting better. But there's also the cases where, and we, we see it a lot with our listeners and, and people that come to us mm-hmm. is man, so often, more often than not, it's actually um, the female, the woman, the feminine in the relationship who's picking up on this out yeah. of balanced yeah. dynamic. And they're like, ah, oh, fuck, I need to get out of my masculine. I need my man to, you know, step into depth and direction. Yeah. But they're the, the oaf archetype. They're, they're numbed. The they're, man is. Are they yeah. too far gone? So the question is like, how do I enroll them? Yeah. Mm. And so what, what are you typically telling people? <laughs> I mean, you know, this, this is such, I, I, you know, I had a panel last week with Connor Beaton and Preston Smiles and Stefanos and, and, you know, oh, yeah. the questions we got and we all were smiling because we get them all the time is yeah. how do I get my man to yeah. dot, dot, dot. Yeah. Right? That, that is the question. Yeah. How do, how do I get them to deepen? Yeah. And the, and the, the answer sucks, which is you don't, Yeah, you mm. don't, you, 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 you know, there's a little caveat to that. You continually express what his lack of consciousness is doing to you. Mm -hmm. And that's it. It sounds simple and it sounds easy, but most women are not able to do that. Mm -hmm. Like he's on, you're at, you're at dinner. You guys just had this really sweet moment. And then he picks up his phone. And if you don't go, ah, (laughs) he won't know that that was really painful. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Or, you know, so, and so cult again, this, you know, the, the, to the feminine responsibility, cultivating the body mind that's open and real and feeling very deeply and responsive mm-hmm. to that lack of consciousness is the feminine responsibility in relationship. And a lot of women struggle with it and it's understandable to paint it. Why, why the fuck should you have to do that? But ultimately it, it's, it's, it probably goes way back. It's not just modern. Um, so I, th- this, tr- the moment she gets directional, uh, this is, a, I'll try to simplify it. The moment she gives you a book or a podcast and says, oh, you should listen to this guy. Who's directional? Yeah. Who's the masculine, right? Yeah. So she can't get mad at you for being in your feminine in that moment because she just took the masculine pole. And if that happens again and again and again, what women, what women are doing in this instance, and it sucks, I know is they're using the the masculine structure they've learned post-feminism to solve the problem of their hearts not being met. Mm -hmm. And what that does is it actually pushes the man farther away because now she's in the masculine telling him what to do, which if he is masculine does not want. Mm -hmm. (laughs) And, and so the way to, and, and again, this is a huge subject, but I'll just simplify it. The way to, to work with your partner, is to express how his unconsciousness hurts you in the moment. And then a, and then a more, a, a more 
probably just more mainstream, healthy way to do that is to talk about your needs. Mm. Like I would need you to have this conversation every week, like what I love about us mm-hmm. and what I would need more of. Mm-hmm. And so you could say to him on every Sunday night, when you have that conversation, I would need you to be more in your body. And I need you to actually breathe deeper. And I would need you to slow things down. I would need you to be less reactive. Mm-hmm. And if you do that for months, six months, a year, and he does nothing to move in that direction, you're probably with the wrong human. Yeah. You know? Yeah. As I've heard you say before, it's like, that's still really good information. That's yeah. feedback. Yeah. yeah. 